Hello, everybody, and what welcome back to. Napsack. Son of a. You uh, are interrupting me. Let's just play The Legend of Quirandia, Book 2, The Hand of Fate. Anyway, last time we freed Marco from a jail cell, got a passage on a ship, and uh, sort of sabotaged the voyage, causing it to come over here and they threw us overboard. But now we are on Volcania. Now, um. This area trolls you hard. Perhaps I could exchange it when I get back. Thank you, Xanthia. Pretty much within less than a minute, I could already make it to the next area. However, this area makes you think that you have to do a lot of other stuff in order to do it. I will show you what I mean. Anyway, um, there's some stuff we can pick up. If you're just following along for the walkthrough's sake, don't pick this stuff up. Don't bother. You don't need it. But uh, you'll see why this I'm looks picking like it, it up. Could be valuable. Yeah, at least I'll get the souvenir. There is a couple things we do want to pick up, but these aren't it. You'll see seashells, sand, sand dollars, dollar. starfish. But at least I'll get the souvenir. This looks like it could be valuable. I guess if you want to see every single little thing that's in the game, you can get them. And but uh, yeah. Anyway, come over here. Oh, let's get that bottle. We always want empty flasks. Why don't we keep a couple of anchor stones around? <laughs> Just for emergencies like this. Well, when we get there, maybe we can grab a couple. Okay, you want the heavy rock. Now, wh who are these people? Do you know how I can get down to the center of the world? You have come to the right place, my dear. Oh, really? Take this promotional pen. And we get a feather. Okay. For only six sand dollars, you may buy a copy... ...of our map to the altar at the center of the world. Six sand dollars, huh? I'll need six sand dollars for the pamphlet. Mom handles all the business. And he just stands there being fat. It's all about vents and rocks, my dear. Hmm. Mom handles all the business. Wow, you have nothing to say even with that. Oh, well. Let's keep them in mind. Collect some more stuff. Yeah, and this stuff will actually like keep respawning. So if you this place basically hit, goes around in circles. What's and, this? Um, a hot air vent? If you collect everything, then you can come back around in a circle, and more stuff will appear. Hmm. Let's hop in the hot air vent. Uh oh. Oh my. <laughs> Looks like Xanthia wears granny panties. Whoa. Hmm. Oh yeah, keep that in mind this uh, vent right here. Grab some more stuff. Oh, now let me show you something. See all this lava here? Walk oh, onto it. Shoot. I'm burning. So you can walk across lava, but if you stay on it too long, th that happens. Are you really surprised? I'm not. So yeah, anyway. Don't stand on lava too long. Yeah, we're soon gonna be uh, full up here. Yeah, you'll see she just walks right across it here, but uh, luckily she doesn't stay on too long. And what's this here? There is a charge of four seashells. For our pamphlet describing the altar at the center of the world. And people ask for sand dollars and seashells. They're just lying around. Go get them. Yeah, he's pretty much saying the same thing that the woman there was saying, except asking for a different price. Department of Anchor Guidance. What a cheap door. <laughs> what a depressing office. Huh. Interesting. Keep going. Collect some more junk. Oh, looks like we're full up. Um, let's go with sand dollar. I actually don't think. 
Like I said, I don't need any of this stuff, so just get rid of whatever you want if you're <laughs> playing along. We can uh, grab this stuff at a later time. Go a little further, almost full circle. Ah, one more rock, and uh, let's get rid of a shell. Oh, I thought that was a rock. Darn. Well, we do need one more rock, but uh, it's not there. And there's another guy. Do you know how I can get down to the center of the world? <laughs> you have come to the right place, my dear. Are you related to Stan or what? <laughs> Please let me give you this brochure detailing my personal guidance services. I can direct you through all the mysteries of the altar at the center of the world. Well, he's a little bit more enthusiastic than the there others. There is a small two starfish charge, of course. I wonder if this guy has a permit. <laughs> All right, so there are three of these uh, different elevators here, all claiming to impressive door, impressive door. Go to the center of the earth. I will tell you right now. They are all ripping you off. None of them will do anything for you. And um, they all actually, um, once you give them what they ask for, they will say the exact same things, line for line, word for word. So I'm not going to show you what happens if you give all of them everything, because it's pretty much nothing. But I'll show you just one, this and um, can't be the only way down. I'll show you with him, because it's actually pretty funny. The other two are just mad, but uh, it's pretty funny what happens with him. Let's pay the price. You only lack one more starfish. Thank you. And that's why I've been picking all this stuff up. Valuable book. Details how to obtain guide service. Full guide services. Six starfish. Yeah, they'll just charge you again for more. For full guide services, you need a total of six starfish. So what they charge, I think, is like a little bit random. Let's see, we have one. Thank you. You only lack five more stars. You only lack four more stars. You only lack three more stars. You only lack two more starfish. And we don't have any more, so let's walk around some more. And I might as well, uh... Oh, wait a minute, is that... Okay. Um, we only need starfish, so I'm not gonna worry about that sand dollar there. Anyway, oh, here we go. Second, you need two heavy rocks. Oh, hey, here's our stick. <laughs> we got it back. Hooray. Oh, and a starfish. We need those. Well, I don't need them. You don't need any of this stuff. But, uh, you do need the rocks and the stick and... Anyway. Yeah, I just finished, um... Metroid Prime 3 today. Not too bad, uh... I'm a bit worn out. Have you ever had one of those experiences in gaming that's just so intense and stressful that you're just so, like, worn out after you're done? That's what I had, because I was, uh, near the very end. Oh, let's talk to this woman first. She'll randomly appear. My name is Anthea. I'm here from Kyrandia. Pleased to meet you. I'm Jessica, apprentice wizard from Miltonia. Miltonia, huh? So what kind of calamity has befallen Miltonia? Rain of frogs. Happens every summer. <laughs> Disgusting, really. That's unfortunate. Yeah. If it happens every summer, then why don't you guys collect a whole bunch of anchor stones as well? Found the path yet? Like, why do you have to Would come I back here? Why don't you just get here? several? Found the path. Uh, hmm. I thought there'd be more places to shop here. <laughs> well, yeah, she doesn't say anything really useful. She's just sort of a little extra thing. Alright, anyway, but yeah, um, I was near the very end, and, uh, you know, the end isn't, yeah, <laughs> there she is again. The end really isn't that hard at all. It is actually pretty easy. However, I made a huge mistake near the very end, lost almost all of my life, and then with that little tiny bit of life I had remaining, had to face the final boss. And, uh, it was not pleasant. 
But, uh, yeah, that was a pretty intense because I'm fighting the final boss of the game with only a smidgen of health left. Luck luckily, they'll, uh, give you health periodically, like, it'll drop. But, um, man, I was on the edge of my seat, I can tell you that much. And it's a good game, I enjoyed it. Not sure if it's better or worse than the others in the series, I guess it depends on how you look at it. I enjoyed it. Get rid of the shell. Wow, that's hot. <laughs> I just burned it up. But, uh, man, I was just uh, like after I was done playing, I felt exhausted, like I'd done a workout. Of course, the fact that it's on a Wii kind of <laughs> moves that along. But yeah, that was uh, pretty fun. Got 100% all items. Didn't get all the scans, but luckily for this one, it wasn't necessary to get all the scans to get the secret ending. Anyway. Thank you. You only lack one more starfish. Congratulations! A fine first step. First step? Now, in order to actually register you for an anchor stone, there is a small fee of eight seashells. And of course I had to burn up my seashell. Ah, so yeah, they keep charging you for more stuff. Thank you. You only lack seven more steps. You only lack six more seashells. Thank you. you only lack five Skip more. Thank you. you only lack four more. Thank you. you only lack three more seashells. And we're out of seashells, so let's go collect some more. And I'll talk some more, why not? Instead of just skipping around. You can get to know me better if you want. Not, not that there's much to say, really, actually. Uh, living here in Utah, come from California, blah de blah de blah at least I'll get the souvenir. No, we're just gonna give it away, actually. Yeah, um, I guess I'll talk more about gaming, because that's more interesting for anyone who's watching this gaming stuff. Uh, the game I started after, right after finishing Metroid Prime 3 was um, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles The Crystal Bears. I had never even heard of it before I just saw it randomly in a, among some games in a store and picked it up. For Christmas, I got a gift certificate for some, like, local store called Greywell. And they had games, and I saw it, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And it's a pretty interesting game. It's not like the other Crystal Chronicles games. Like, it has a lot of the same lore, but it's, um... A bit different. It's like a... In a way, it's kind of like a series of mini-games. All loaded into one game, but then there's, like, some free-roaming stuff, too. I haven't gotten very far in it. I only played for, like, a... An hour or so, but it seems enjoyable enough. Let's see, shell. I see. I was finally able to get uh, a hold of a. Uh, oh come on! I can't. Uh, it won't let me touch it. Pick it up because the arrow appears. I wonder if this guy has a permit. Yeah, yeah. Then you only lack two more seashells. You only lack one more. Ah, uh, if I had just gotten that shell. Oh, I'll uh, search for one more. Some sand dollars. But yeah, um, another game that I'm pretty sure I'm going to play for you guys. Uh, I'm not going to say what exactly it is yet, but it. Oh, there At we go. At least I'll get the souvenir. It has some famous voice actors. The main uh, guy is voiced by Tim Curry. Then also has uh, Mark Hamill, you know, the guy who played uh, Luke Skywalker, the guy who plays Joker. It has um, Michael Dorn, the guy who plays Worf on Star Trek. Has a Jim Cummings who plays Winnie the Pooh and also um, Pete from the from the Mickey Mouse Disney thing and like from Kingdom Hearts. So it and it is an amazing game as well. I'll tell you what, it is such a good game. So I can't wait to show that one off. Excellent. You are almost ready. Are you kidding me? All that remains is for you to pay the eight sand dollars for the required insurance form. Yeah, everybody says these exact same things, line for line, word for word, except that their price will be different. Thank you. You only lack seven more yeah, sand dollars. Yeah. Thank you. You only lack six more sand dollars. Thank you. You only lack five more sand dollars. Thank you. You only lack four more sand dollars. Yeah, I could have been like halfway done with the next area by now. Uh, pick up a sand dollar. Man, what else is there to talk about? 
I don't know, you guys have a good Father's Day? I'm not a father myself, so I didn't really, uh, do anything. Like I said, I have a dad and I have a stepdad, so I'm sort of obligated to do something for both. Oh, well. Yeah, these, uh... I remember, like, I, I knew that you didn't have to do all this, but, um... My last playthrough of this game, I just decided to see what would happen if you gave everybody everything. And it just, it was, wasn't worth it. Except for like, the, this guy I'm showing right here is pretty funny. What happens, but um, the other is just, uh, uh. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh. Wow, that was hot. Okay, yeah, I didn't if want you to stop. Oh, man. See, I'm going to save just to make sure I don't accidentally kill myself. Alright. <laughs> that was a close one. Oh, this one is so annoying because what happens? You you pay him what he asks for, and then what he'll say is, "Now you have to wait for the person in charge of such and such who's on their lunch break." What a depressing office! <laughs> says they'll be back in five minutes, so we have to do leave the screen, come back, talk to him again. She'll be back in four minutes. Da da da, three minutes, da da, da two minutes, da, da, and then finally, he'll leave into there. The girl will come out, and then you pay her the stuff. And then, to go, to move on with the sequence, he'll be on his lunch break, and you have to do the whole thing over again, walk back and forth until he comes back, and then she'll be gone again. And it takes way too long. It's not worth it. No, no. Clear I'm on lava. Water. I'm on lava. Okay, <laughs> she didn't uh, burn there. I was lucky. Yeah, it's a good thing I saved anyway. Of that sound there. But yeah, I'll tell you kind of what happens with uh, the others once you know you pay. If you do decide to pay them everything, unusual just... landscaping. Like I'd probably do the other, like the depressing office guy too, if it wasn't such a hassle for him. And uh, these things like become less and less frequent to pick up. Oh, now I can wow, pick that up. That's hot. And so, like, eventually you'll just be wandering around several times before you can get everything you need. Alright, looks like we have everything we need. So, I, I actually messed something up, so I had to redo this part because I accidentally skipped through something really funny, but, uh, I'll just cut that out. Thank you. you only lack three more sand dollars. Thank you. you only lack two more sand dollars. You only lack one and more sand dollars. Give him the sand dollar. You know. You've been a good sport and an excellent customer. And you've been a great pain in my behind. That's just great. Now tell me, how do I get down and get one of those anchor stones? Yeah, these lines will be exactly the same for everyone once you ac actually like go through the everything actual with them. trip down to the center of the world. Most people just jump down one of the hot air vents. So yeah, he tells you all that just so you jump to jump down a hot air vent. So this uh, elevator here, yeah, it's just for show. It doesn't do anything. None of the elevators do. So what are we going to do? Are you interested in subdividing any of that swamp you live in? How do you know I live in a swamp? Well, what happens? <laughs> Yeah, she'll grab his uh, wig and just toss it over there. <laughs> I thought. I, I wonder if this guy has a perm geek. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. But yeah, that's all that happens. Get the same lines for everyone else. The end result is a t tiny little bit different. Like um, with the chick and the fat guy, all she'll do is poke the f poke the guy in the belly. It's not even it's just it's not like any dramatic thing. she'll poke the guy in the belly. That's how angry she gets. She pokes him in the belly. With the uh, other two that are up there, well you only see one, but there are two of them. She actually ends up punching the guy out and it's pretty funny but not worth it for all the hassle that is, that goes through for all the exact same lines and going through around over and over again. Uh, anyway, let's see. Drop wow, these. that's hot. Wow, that's hot. Wow, that's hot. Wow, <laughs> that's hot. Wow, that's hot. Alright, so this is why we need these two heavy stones. Because now... We can... 
get down there. Oh, wonderful animation there. Top notch. <laughs> yeah, we could have done this in less than a minute from the this beginning of this video. This trip has been hard on my wardrobe. <laughs> and she changes again. But what's what awaits us here in the center of the world? Will we be able to find an anchor stone? We'll just have to find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Kirandia 2 The Hand of Fate. Thank you for watching and have a good day.